Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Galactic Civilization 4 game on your Windows computer or if you are facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Do not ignore this step, restart your computer once and then launch the game. Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to reset settings. Now launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, it will open launcher and in launcher, click on settings over here. Now, before you reset settings, let me inform you that whatever settings you have saved, that will be lost. So this will actually reset to the default. So if you agree, you can click on reset settings, click on reset. And after the reset, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to verify games file. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and then download x64 and then run both the exe file. So you have to run both the exe file. So run both the exe file and then install it and after installation restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Over here, you can see the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still you are facing the problem, make a right click once again and then select properties. Now over here, click on so simply make a right click and then run as administrator. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, then click on uh, Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. If the game installed is C drive, open C drive, program files x86, open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, open the common folder. Now open the game folder over here and then select the game exe file and then click on open. Again, click on Browse All Apps. You can select all the exe file over here. So select all the exe file over here. One, two, three, four, five. Select all the exe file and then click on Open. Now once added, now type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box and then click on Control Panel. Click on System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings at the top. Click on Allow another app, Browse, and then again go to the Game Installation folder and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on OK and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to update and security or Windows update, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now we here select your graphic card. Uh, make sure that you select your product type. For me, it's GeForce. Now select your right series over here. So for me, it's uh, RTX 30 series notepad. If you have notepad, select notepad. If you have desktop, select desktop over here. Now select the right graphic card over here. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. 
and then click on start search and then the latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 537.58 so you can click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now after the clean installation once this is this process is complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation of the new version and once this is complete you can restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder again open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to disconnect if you have multiple controller like additional controller connected to the computer disconnected also unplug these devices so if you have any external devices connected disconnected also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay application so if you have discord geforce experience so if you have any other overlay, overlay application i'm closing also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi after burner or reward burner running or any other overclocking application close it also if you have any kind of third party software application running close it make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers also if you have undervoted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure that you put a check on all microsoft services first and then click on disable all then you will apply to come okay you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte 
now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturing website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturing website. Select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and install the latest BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, Make sure battery in the computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if you have any other drive, uh, if nothing is working, then you can first of all uninstall the game. After you uninstall, Go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then reinstall the game to different drive. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.